Hey guys, real quick before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know that I'm holding a poll over on my Twitter account, the link will be in the description, where you can go and vote for which faction I'll be trading 10,000 weapon parts with in a video here on the channel very soon. So click the first link in this video's description, it will take you to the poll, hit me up with a follow there as well if you haven't done so already, so you don't miss out on any future things like this that we do. But yeah, click the link in the description and have your say on which faction we trade these 10,000 weapon parts with and your choice could be the winning faction. But I'm going to let the rest of this video play out so I hope you guys do go on to enjoy. What is going on guys, 2.0 here and in today's video I've got Zerg's location and exotics for week 109 in total but it's actually week 3 of the Rise of Iron. So Zerg's back in the tower as soon as you spawn in, take a left and head for the path I'm taking. He is over by the speaker yet again, so let's take a look at what he's got for the third week of the Rise of Iron. By the way, check out that gun on my back. I finally got the Outbreak Prime Raid Exotic Pulse Rifle. I've been putting this quest off for so long now just because it seemed so tedious, but finally got it this morning, so really happy about that. But let's take a look at what Zer has brought for us all. So... Looks like a pretty good week to be completely honest with you guys, two new exotics, but as always we'll start at the top with the Legacy Engram, which this week is a primary weapon Engram at 31 Strange Coins, however this is going to give you a year 1 version of an exotic, so make sure you bear that in mind before you go ahead and pick that up. But onto the really interesting stuff, the Phagomizers, the new exotic gauntlets to the Rise of Iron for Titans, 350 defense with a full intellect spec for this week at 82. Grants Amplify, grants additional melee charge, increased melee attack speed as well as increased reload speed with your auto rifles. Next up, another brand new exotic set of gauntlets to the Rise of Iron, Shinuba's Val for the Hunter. 88 discipline spec on this, improve skip grenade and gain an additional skip grenade charge, increase grenade throw distance and then increase the reload speed with auto rifles again. Next up for the Warlocks, you're getting the Light Beyond Nemesis Helmet. Full intellect spec on this at 98. Supers generate an extra orb, revive and be revived faster. Gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness. And finally, shield start recovery immediately after all pickup. The weapon of the week is the Thunderlord. The weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. And then kills with the weapon increase the reload speed for a short amount of time. Pretty good lineup there, but moving on to the weapon ornaments, we have the Shock Hazard, which is for the Zalo Supercell, and then the Queen's Command, which is for the Telesto. Now, I love the look of both of these ornaments, but they do cost 25 silver dust, which is a bit of a stretch. So, personally, I'm going to be holding out trying to get these from those Radiant Treasures. But next up, we have the Vehicle Upgrades, Void Drive, as well as Stealth Drive, 3 Heavy Ammo Synthesis for 1 Strange Coin, 5 Thread Coins for 7 Strange Coins, and finally, 3 Gas Needles, for three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard. If you'd like to know how I have so many strange coins and motes of light, check the links in the description. I've made tutorials for both of these materials, so they should help you out if you are interested in learning how I managed to farm so many of those. But that is Zer's inventory for week three of the Rise of Iron, week 109 in general. Actually a really good week, definitely the best one in my opinion since the Rise of Iron has been released. Two brand new exotics, both of them do look pretty useful. Both the ornaments are really nice as well. So let me know in the comments what you're going to be picking up from Zer for this week. But that is going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like as it really does help the channel out. Make sure you go and vote on that poll over on my Twitter account. Follow me whilst you're there as well. Subscribe if you're new around here as I upload daily Destiny videos. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.